What's up guys, Miles here checking in. As you can see, I'm back here at the Free Heal Life shop in Salt Lake City. Off the mountain today, not skiing, fortunately. Um, <laughs> but we're back here at the shop. Um, hopefully you guys have been liking those kind of different videos from us up at Alta, up skiing around, doing some of those product videos. Um, definitely expect more of those soon, as well as I definitely want to do more of those. Tay wants to do more of them. Um, if you guys, as the viewers and the customers, have any ideas for those, maybe maybe you don't know 100% how to get a binding off or you're struggling with getting a binding on with breaks or whatever it may be, um, if you guys have a couple ideas or questions of kind of those short little informative on-mountain videos that me or Taylor can do for you guys here at the shop, Comment those down below and I'll be sure to check those out and then we can look at getting some of those shot. Um, but really do appreciate your guys' support on the latest couple of videos. It's been awesome to see you guys have been liking them. That lowdown I did last week with Tay was super fun, doing a little bit of a boot comparison video. Super awesome. So expect more of those in the future. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And as always, guys, if you have any questions, be sure to let us know. So. Today I'm going to be talking about the Outlaw X from 22 Designs. So as many of you guys know at the shop, we preach this binding a lot. Most of us here at the shop are huge fans, huge supporters of this binding from 22 Designs. Um, as you guys saw in that video last week, it's the binding me and Taylor both ski on, both prefer to ski on, is going to be this Outlaw X from 22 Designs. As you guys may know, the Outlaw X has been a tough binding to get this year. Um, there's been a lot of delays with parts and screws and whatever it may be, but we do have them in stock here at Free Heal Life. I have larges, I have smalls. They are ready to go with the mounting screws that some people are still missing. So if you guys are looking for an Outlaw still, be sure to let us know. I got the large and small available right whether we're mounting them up for you or we're shipping them out to wherever that might be i have outlaws in stock large and small so be sure to hit us up um, i really just wanted to talk about why i love the binding so much um, we got a little bit of it in that last video about the boots but this week i kind of wanted to more focus on the binding itself so as you guys know it's a super simple super pretty easy binding to use and kind of get the hang of as far as the functions, the features, whatever it may be. So obviously you have a super simple engagement up front with that toe cage, no pins on the outlaw. It's a toe cage up front. And then you have that second heel engagement here with that claw, super easy, super simple. Um, the biggest thing I wanted to talk about with this guy was the adjustment of your spring tension of setting that binder, binding, whether it be stiffer or softer, whatever that might be for you. So as you guys can see here, we have that spring cap on the rear end of the spring, and then we have the claw that folds down there. So you can kind of see it when you fold that guy down, there's a little bit of an imaginary line that you do have to draw over to that spring cap, but it's super easy to adjust this guy. If you want it looser, you're just gonna back that guy out, now you're sitting a little bit softer, it may be two or three. Maybe you wanna go a little bit tighter, a little bit more preload, a little bit more tension in that spring. Just gonna tighten that guy up. Now that guy's sitting a little bit tighter at about a four. So that is a huge feature of the Outlaw that I personally love, as well as I kinda of like to play with it, which is fun because you can tune it while you're skiing or maybe you're at the resort or maybe you're in the backcountry and you just can't quite figure it out. Maybe it's a little bit too tight for you. Go ahead, take that boot off, give this guy a quick adjustment one or two ways, looser or tighter depending on the situation, and you're good to go. You can ski a run, see if you like it better, or maybe you didn't, go back to that other position. So that's something that is super awesome that I love about the Outlaw X is the being able to adjust that as well as like we said in that video last week, I really like to kind of tune and match that to the boot that I'm in as well as the condition that I'm currently skiing. So maybe it's an icier day or a little bit of a hard pack, some groomer day. Um, I like to crank it down a little bit, have a little bit more stiffness in the binding for those groomer days, for those harder days where I'm really trying to get that ski up on edge and power through a turn where I need a little bit more power, but 
if it's a day maybe I'm in the trees or it's a soft snow, soft snow day, we got some fresh, um, maybe back it up just a little bit, make that binding just a little bit easier to turn, a little bit more flowy. So that's something that's super awesome. And I don't think a lot of people really get that about the Outlaw is you can tune it and you can adjust it to fit your personal preference, um, which is super cool. As well as you do have that tour mode for that free pivot, as well as some heel climbers in the rear. So super awesome binding from 22 Designs, my personal favorite Kelly binding at the moment, as well as probably ever. Um, most of you guys know I came from the Axle or the Vice, been skiing the Outlaw a lot lately, and really just love the way this binding skis, I love the way it feels. So that's gonna be that Outlaw X, and then you do something that is awesome and something that me and Taylor both do here at the shop. We both ski this binding with the 22 Designs Outlaw X brakes, um, which is pretty sweet. Um, I have this one kind of rubber banded up as a display, but adds a little bit of a brake lever there. So the step in can be a little bit tricky at first. Once you figure out the kind of the angle and the tiptoe to get in on that brake, super easy, super awesome to get into as well as you don't have to deal with that leash up front anymore. So that's going to be a quick kind of rundown of that Outlaw X why I personally love it so much to be able to tune it and adjust that as well as the lateral control and power in this binding is just pretty much unmatched for me as far as kind of that progressive where the lower and lower I get, the stiffer and stiffer that binding is going to get, give me more power, more control, as well as just being able to get that ski up on edge is super cool. So highly recommend checking out the Outlaw X. Um, as many of you guys know, have been hard to get. I have them in stock here. So freehilllife.com for outlaws or whatever your other telemark needs may be. Um, what's a new binding without some new boots? Lucky you, we got them in stock here as well. So I just got a fresh shipment of some more TX Pros, TX Comps from Scarpa, as well as a couple more sizes in that women's colorway. So you're looking for a little bit of a smaller size whatever size you may be looking for i probably got one on the website for you as well as great to pair those guys up with that outlaw x so as always guys it's been miles here at the free heel life shop checking in with another lowdown make sure to subscribe make sure to check out some of the other videos um dosti has been crushing it with some of his dosti's view um we're all kind of doing different things this year which is pretty cool um I know he just made a, he's been making a couple videos of skiing techniques and hiking techniques and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Check those out. Um, as always guys, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot us an email, give us a call, whatever that might be. We'll get you guys dialed in and get you guys out on the hill with hopefully some new gear. So as always guys, it's been Miles with the Lowdown. Checking out.